This morning we're going to take a quick look at uh, search engines and more in particular we're going to take a look at Google search engine. As you can see I have uh, MSN up here at the moment. Um, not one of the best search engines as far as I'm concerned because it uses Bing and I'm a, not a fan of Bing at all. So what I'm going to do is firstly I'm going to go and see if I can download um, a Google search bar. Uh, which you do at www. I've done this before, so it should pop up fairly quickly. Um, toolbar at google. com. There we are, and I can uh, download the Google toolbar. Accept and install. Yes. It does take a moment or two just to uh, run through this little routine where it's um, installing. Uh, restart the browser because uh, that's what it does. And look, here's my uh, toolbar. And a little bit of spurge there from Mr. Google himself. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, we can pin all the buttons so we can see what's here. Um, lots of useful facilities. There's new buttons available on the toolbar. We can go to BBC news feeds, we can go to Facebook if you're into that sort of thing. We go to Yahoo, uh, Google Map search, very very handy. Um, but there we go, right straight away we've got what we can look for. As again I've done the search before so it shouldn't take too long. I'm going to look for a replacement kettle element. There we go. It half fills it in for you. And as soon as I put the uh, replacement kettle element in and do a search, it comes up with 1,050,000 results. Although it only took two tenths of a second. Let's see if we can um, thin that down a bit by clicking on the little cogwheel on the right hand side. We can do an advanced search. Um, if a simple thing to reduce a lot of the rubbish that we do get with searches we can remove we can move um, replacement kettle element and put it into this exact words and phrase and in actual fact the way to format that is by um, putting quotation marks around your search that will give you the exact search that you require okay if we now go down the bottom of the page and click on advanced search and you can see this has knocked it down from however many one million whatever it was to 9,250 and this is just the ones I've been looking for. We can further um, we can further thin it down if you wanted to be really particular by putting in um, minuses. If I put in uh, right I don't want a DeLonghi one because my kettle is not a DeLonghi one. Um, so if I do a search and put the minus sign D-E-L-O-N-G-I um, if I spelled it wrong, G H I. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, Delonghi. Right, and straight away it's dropped off uh, one or two of the um, Delonghi ones that we don't want. You can go through and get rid of a lot of the rubbish that comes up as part of your search by just literally putting quotation marks around your search and any words that you don't want. Suppose for example, I didn't actually want to go to eBay to buy it. I wanted to buy it off a reputable store. Not that eBay isn't reputable, but I can put eBay in there as a minus um, and do a search for that. Straight away now, this has only given me nine results, which means that of the thousands I searched, a lot of them would have been on eBay. It shows the influence that eBay has over our shopping habits and that sort of thing. But here we are, replacement kettle element. Um, let's have a look, see what they've got to offer. It's actually the whole kettle. I don't want to buy a whole kettle because I love the kettle I've got. I just want a replacement element. And I can fit it myself as I've done a few times in the past. There we are. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, there's some seals there you can buy as a as an extra thought, but this is it. That's the one I want there. It's a jug kettle element, nine pound ninety five. 
beats by buying a whole new kettle for 20 or 30 quid. That's a simple search. Okay, so we can uh, we can do with um, we can just go to the Google page. There we are. That'll be my home page in future. Um, other things on here, we can go to a Google Map search. There we go. And that'll take us over to the maps very handy to have so many different things we can have images search maps we can search YouTube um, if we wanted to so many different things on YouTube that you can get details of how to do so having the search engine or this Google bar at the top uh, could save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle and a lot of frustration I think with searches a lot of people get very frustrated that's about it it's only a short demonstration that I'm doing today and that's um that's about it for now thank you for listening